One more thing I forgot to mention. What did I forget to mention? What? What just happened to my brain? Hey there, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little mini review on the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. I got this off of Sephora's website pretty much the day it launched because I absolutely wanted it, so I got it. I have to say I didn't read pretty much the description, so I was expecting a cream blush in here, which there's not. So let me tell you a little bit about the powders. Actually, before I tell you about the powders inside, I have been testing this out for a week. I know it looks like a lot, but I demoed it on film. Skip to whatever time is on the screen to go see the demo if you want to see that instead of listening to me talk. So let's talk about the powders. And the one not powder is called the Glow Cream Base. It is not a cream blush. I was thinking there was going to be a cream blush in here only because I have the Bloom palette and the Bloom palette as a cream blush and a glow cream base so I my fault I should have read the description and realized there's no cream blush so I was kind of disappointed right off the bat when there was none of that in here so this is a very waxy formula. In the Bloom palette, it's much lighter, so I can use it kind of as a light highlight or a very light blush. It is very emollient, is the word I heard people use a lot. But to me, it just feels kind of like waxy and thick. If you're not very careful, it does lift up your foundation underneath. And as you can see in the demo, I just went ham and put it everywhere so obviously you don't have to do that you could be a little bit more specific of where you want it i used the l'oreal blending sponge which i'm testing out so i'm not quite used to the shape yet i usually use the eco tools one or the real techniques one so this was a little bit bigger and i kind of got it all over my cheeks that aside, it's an okay color. It seems like a much more toned down version of the Bloom Cream Blush. I'll show comparison swatches at the end if you'd like to see that. So I was a little disappointed in that. Only because my stupidity, I was hoping there was a cream blush. So the next thing under this little flap, which is to protect the Glow Cream Base, which I still get powder in it anyway because this powder is in there. So if you're using this powder, you're gonna have powder kick back into here, which, huh, why? <laughs> Whatever, minor detail. So I already have powder all in there. But anyway, the Super Glow here is more of a orangey pink. So when you put these two together, you get a very NARS orgasm feel to it. You know that blush, I'm sure you know that blush. I'm not just saying random words. So when you put those two together, you get that kind of a color. And to me, I was hoping for more of like a pink color, similar to the Dar Daria palette. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll put a picture up here if I remember. I guess I should just splurge and buy that palette because I keep waiting for a mini palette like that to come out. More of a pink toned palette. And I thought this was gonna be more of a pink toned palette. It's still more of a coral, raspberry toned palette. Maybe for someone with deeper skin, it might be very pink because this powder, which I'll talk about next, is very pink. And on, actually on my cheeks right now, you can get a very pink look. But I don't know if it was the pink look I was expecting. It's a little bit more berry toned pink. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. <laughs> we'll see what the video looks like because I've never seen it on film. Moving on, the diamond powder. As you can see, I don't know if you could tell in the pan how kind of chunky and glazed over that looks. Almost like hard pan. So I use a really dense brush with this to try and pick up more of the pink pigment because I want the pink to show up but it is super glittery. So if you don't like glitter, do not get this because none of this will work for you because these two are pretty much glittery powder products. This more so than this. This is very, very tiny, tiny specks of gold glitter. This is more of a silver chunky glitter. You could tell it's glitter. I mean, it is smooth, but it's also chunky. Does that make sense? 
I don't know, maybe you could see it in the application or my swatches. I was hoping that this would be more pigmented and I wouldn't have to pick up so much product to get that pigment. Maybe on a deeper skin tone, like I said, it would come off more pink, but I have to really apply a lot to make it pink and then you really get this glow, you know? It's not subtle. It's very, very bright. You know what I mean? Not bright, but like shiny. It's very, very shiny, which I'm not mad at, but for an everyday look, no. For princess parties and stuff like that, yes, because kids love glitter, so the more glitter on my face, the better. Moving on to the Glow Impact Powder. I saw swatches of this and I was like, well, that's gonna be the only one that doesn't work because it's too dark. It is too dark for my cheekbones, really. So even if I go in with a light, light hand, it doesn't really do much then. I don't even know if you could tell it made any difference because I can't tell that it made a difference. So this to me is kind of a dud. I could use it in the inner corner, which I've done. But at the same time, that's a whole lot of pan <laughs> that I'm probably not going to go through, which is kind of a waste for me. But like I said, on a deeper skin tone, that's going to look amazing, especially if you can build it up without getting the undercast, the base color. I don't know. Even if you get the base color and you are darker than me, which I look pretty darn white right now. I guess I haven't gotten any color in the past year or two, so I'm kind of vampire status right now. So this is just too dark for me. Overall, my thoughts are still not solidified. I love it and I hate it. I'm kind of in the middle on it. Like I said, I was disappointed right away because I thought this was gonna be a cream blush. It's not, so if you're expecting that, don't. <laughs> I already own NARS Orgasm Blush, so I don't need something that's going to make the same combination. I could wear this on its own and it looks just fine, but it's also kind of like a really toned down version of the Bloom Palette, like I said. So do I really need this? No. Is it fun because it's got super pink shiny glitter and I'm like blinging to the gods in space? Yeah, it's fun. Do I think it's worth the money for me? No, <laughs> maybe for someone else who can see themselves wearing this look on a day-to-day -day basis, then this might be worth it to you because these powders are exceptional. They re It's a really good product and it does last a pretty good amount. I've worn this all day and it pretty much stays put. Like I said, my only real big issues is application. So sometimes the glow cream base acts a little funny and finicky, so you can't build it up too much, otherwise it gets like patchy and pulls up in weird spots. And you really have to buff in, what is that called? The diamond powder to kind of diffuse that chunky glitter look. So when you buff it into the skin, you are gonna get a supermodel glow, and it is called the love glow cheek palette so you will glow <laughs> so if that's what you're into then this might be something you want to check out for me i should just splurge and get the daria palette because that's what i keep hoping these mini palettes are going to be and that aside i do love the bloom palette i love the cream blush formula i really wish she would come out with more of that because that I would eat up in a second. I don't think we need any more diamond powders. No one's asking for it. I think we have enough on the market. If you want something super shiny, super shiny, you have plenty in all the palettes she's come up with. It's not like a formula we need more of, especially since the base color doesn't really show through as much. Overall, is it a beautiful palette? Yes. Will I keep it? I don't know, I'm gonna still play with it. I hate returning things. I really, really hate returning things because it's just gonna go in the trash and that to me is horrific. <laughs> that products can be wasted. I don't know if I could donate that only because of the cream product in it. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the palette. As you can see, it is, it is a glow. <laughs> so, it, it's just glowy. I don't know how to describe it. Those are my thoughts on the palette. Let me know if you picked it up below. I didn't get the eyeshadow palette. I wanted to see looks and swatches of it first and I'm kind of nervous about the red eyeshadows only because I have very sensitive eyes. I'm actually not even wearing eyeshadow today because <laughs> I'm having an allergic reaction. I don't know if you could tell on camera but my eyelids are swollen and <laughs> 
and having some sort of allergic reaction to something I put on my eyes. So I am staying away from eyeshadow this whole week until it clears up. Anyway, back to the Love palette. I don't know what it's actually called. It looks beautiful, but am I really going to wear reds and pinks on my eyes? Like, I'm pretty pale. <laughs> I think I might look sick. I do love that one side column of the purples and the silver. Like that I wish was its own separate palette because I would buy it right up. So I didn't pick up the palette or the lip glosses because $26 I think for a lip gloss is kind of bogus to me. Maybe, maybe one day when I'm real bougie and I have the money to just spend on lip gloss. Yeah, hell, why not? And if you do, go for it. You do you. Like, I'm not telling you what to spend your money on and what not to spend your money on. Like, it's your money, not mine. But for me, that just seemed a little expensive for lip gloss, so I'm going to stay away from that for now. So, I didn't get the whole collection. I just got that. And to be honest, I've been testing it out for a week and I'm just not sure this is a look I'm gonna go for very often. So to me, I don't know if it's worth it. If you'd like to see some swatches and some comparisons to the Bloom palette and maybe some other blushes I have, stay tuned, keep on watching, and I'm hoping to be filming more. I finally got a computer to edit. It's been a journey. Let's just say it's been a journey. Anyway, thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. So I didn't have lipstick on my teeth that entire time. Oh, I didn't. Go me.